Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And uh, I've had a couple of you guys ask if I ever found a front camera for the uh, Can-Am factory rear view mirror system. And I think I did. It's not actually a Can-Am uh, camera per se, but I think it's gonna work. And it's gonna, it's gonna work with the Can-Am mirror itself. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be installing a front camera. And this is what we picked up. We got this off of Amazon. And uh, I'll put a link in the description if you guys are interested in it. This is what it comes with. So this is the camera. It's gonna go on the front. And then it comes with your wire. This is a five pin wire. So this is a five pin camera. And this should mount right here. This is where we're gonna put it. I think it'll fit in there nice. I think what we'll do is I'll put it in like that. And then it's gonna go inside there. So that bumper's actually gonna protect it. And it should right in there, just like that. Check that out. What do you think of that? So, that's how we're going to do it. And, get this thing up higher. There we go. Just like that. And then we can run a wire. We'll probably run the wire down through there. We'll probably put it through there or something. I think it'll fit. put that and feed it right through the firewall. And I think that'll work. And then this is the wire that comes with the kit. This right here is what's going to connect to the camera. And then this other side is going to connect to right here. We already took the seats out and stuff. It's going to connect right here to this and that's all we got to do so we're going to run the wire through here all the way up to the firewall connect it to the camera and then it's done so it's all plug and play the only thing we got to do is figure out we're going to mount that front camera and uh, that's it so we'll go ahead and get everything set up and then uh, we'll show you how it works all right, so we got that connected. So you guys can see, we wanted to stop and show you where we were at and the install. But this is all connected now. Then we just ran a wire down through here, out here. We're gonna zip tie it to this little, um, wiring harness right here for the headlights so we'll zip tie it there 
And then as you guys can see, it goes right, we're gonna push this back into the firewall, the wire that we ran. Tight there. I think we'll tight there. So we'll be good there. And then I'll show you what we did in here. I know this looks a mess, but this is the wire it's almost too much wire but i had to undo it to feed it through here i wanted to feed it through here and we're going to go like this through here and it's already up through here as you can see here's the other end so what we'll do is we'll roll this all up nice and neat like that and then we're going to put all this wire right in here so it'll be sitting in here. No one's going to see it. Nice and out of the way. And then this cover we took off. This will just go right back over it like that. So you ain't going to see it. So we'll go ahead and get this all wrapped up. But we just wanted to show you how we wired it. It's not that bad of a job. And uh, we'll wrap it up and then we'll show you if it works. All right, that's pretty tight. All right, got it all put back together. And what I wanted to show you was this bracket right here. This bracket right here is this bracket right here. So zoom in on that so I can see it. See that? This is the same bracket. Okay, so what I did is I had to drill a hole right here. And that's, so you see on the side here, so that I could attach it to this bracket. So I drilled a little hole, and the camera already has uh, holes for these screws to screw into, but I wanted it out further away from the grill and everything, so I just drilled a new hole instead of it would normally go right here but we just put it right there so i want to show that to you guys so you guys know how to do that if you want to use this kit and i want to let you find another way to mount it that's the way i mounted it and it's pretty secure and then i just drilled two two screws self-tapping screws into this plastic right here and you can see it's solid so it shouldn't go anywhere so let's go ahead and try it out Bring the camera around this way, Mikey. And we'll just straighten it so they can see. So just we're not gonna start it, but it should pop right up to the front window. There it is. So there you go. There's the front. There's the back. You can see we're backed up against the, the garage door there. There's the front. So if you're rock climbing, or you got something in front of you, and you want to see what the heck you're hitting, you can just hit the front camera and see what you go, see what's going on up there. And you can adjust the angles too. That's just where I have the angle adjusted right now. But if you want it further lower, like angled down towards the the uh, ground, you can. But I want to start like this and see how this works, and then I'll adjust from there. And then there's the back. And then if you don't want anything, you just power it off, I believe. There you go. So there you go. So not a bad job. It took about, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes, something like that. Not too bad. But I figured I'd share this with you guys. A couple of you guys have been asking if I ever found a front camera to install with the factory Can-Am rear view mirror kit. Yes, there it is. So I'll put a link in the description. I think this camera was like 119 bucks. So that's not too bad. So you got a front and a rear camera kit. 
The nice thing is it hooks right up to the Can-Am OEM uh, rear view camera system. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to this channel and you like this kind of stuff, we'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Also, please like, comment down below. Follow us on our social media, Instagram, Facebook. And if you guys are interested in any UTV dirt swag, I'll put a link in the description. You guys can pick that stuff up too. So with that said, see you on our next one.